Hi everyone, this is your daily weather hazard briefing from the National Weather Service office here in Pocatello, Idaho for Friday, March 29th. Happy Friday. Overall, we'll see mostly quiet weather today. A few snow showers and some of the higher elevations, uh, but we will have a bit more organized push of moisture arriving overnight into early Saturday morning. And then overall, a relatively active period uh, throughout the weekend and most of it wrapping up as we head into Monday morning. So we'll talk about that as we uh, go through the briefing this morning. As I mentioned, generally quieter weather today for most of us. A few spotty showers this afternoon. Um, may see a little bit of rain through parts of the Magic Valley and Snake Plain, but mostly dry. Um, even as we get into parts of the Central Mountains and the higher elevations in the Southern Hills and Eastern Highlands, a very small chance uh, for a few afternoon showers, but that's about a 20 to 30 percent chance. Uh, as I mentioned, the more organized and widespread push of moisture will arrive overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, and then we'll see that rain and snow continue on and off throughout the weekend. So here's a look at satellite early this morning, a bit of a, a zoomed in view of that you can see in Idaho. We do have some cloud cover out there, um, but overall it's kind of a, a lull in the activity for now. Uh, but we've got more moisture pushing in from the west, and again, that... Uh, low that's been hanging out in the Pacific Northwest or just off the coast there is still there. You can kind of see a bit of a secondary circulation just off the coast of Northern California there. Those two kind of combined and drop southward throughout the day today. But then over the weekend, that low will actually split. And part of that will track almost right over Idaho, uh, bringing kind of another push of moisture. There's there's about a 6-12 to 12 hour lull in some of the activity. Um, kind of Saturday evening before that next round of moisture arrives, uh, Saturday night into Sunday, but overall fairly active 48-hour period through the weekend for us, uh, thanks to that Pacific moisture headed our way. As our uh, weather risk outlook grid shows, overall for most of us it won't be too terribly impactful, um, but we will have kind of a wet weekend for us. Um, it's really going to be those mountains uh, through the southern hills and eastern highlands that see the most snow out of this. Um, we'll talk about snow totals here in just a couple of graphics. Um, and then as we get into Monday morning, that'll be wrapping up. And it looks like we should get a little bit of a break as we get into uh, the second half of Monday and even Tuesday. So temperatures today, since our weather will be fairly quiet, we'll be able to warm up a bit more. Still, though, a lot of us seeing highs in the 40s. Winds overall, not too much of an issue for us. Gusts around 15, maybe 20 miles per hour as you get into parts of the Magic Valley where it's just generally usually a bit breezy. As we get into Saturday morning, take note here, uh, a lot of us down here in the valleys will be almost right at or just slightly below freezing, so it'll be a decent chance for us to see some light snow with that push of moisture coming through. Uh, the Magic Valley, again, it's going to depend on probably a degree or two. Um, not a ton of snow, but again, that's kind of our window to see it before we start to warm back up Saturday afternoon uh, and then switch over from that snow to rain. So snowfall amounts, keep in mind, this is for the entire weekend. This is basically for a 48-hour period. Um, again, the southern hills and eastern highlands is where we're going to see most of that snow. And again, up in the mountains, um, areas like Soda Springs, Montpelier, could see about two, maybe three inches of snow through this uh, through the weekend. Um, but it's really going to be the mountains that you start to see snow totals getting closer to probably a foot, maybe 14 to 16 inches of snow. Again, this is through the entire weekend. Um, down here in the valleys, um, with that uh, overnight tonight into early Saturday morning push of moisture, we could see up to about an inch of snow, basically, uh, from Pocatello northwards. However, down here in the valleys, we will see some rain throughout the weekend. Again, it won't be all snow. We will see a switch over to rain. Um, in total, through the entire weekend, a lot of us probably seeing about a quarter of an inch of rain uh, by the time all is said and done. Could see some locally higher amounts, though. So in summary, generally quieter weather in store for today. A few spotty showers through the afternoon, but that more organized and widespread push of moisture will arrive overnight into early Saturday morning. Uh, and while there will be a little bit of a lull in the activity here and there, uh, we will see rain and snow continue throughout the weekend. So 
Uh, just be prepared for that and keep an eye on the forecast if you do have any of those outdoor plans. Of course, you can always find the latest weather information online or on social media. That's a great way to connect with us. Otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always give us a phone call or send us an email. Have a great day.